Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So I wanted to make one about the Soul Bearer today mainly. I'm going to go do the mini quest and get one and give it a quick test to see exactly how it works because it is an item that you can use to bank in sold heads uh, on tasks and stuff anywhere even off task. So you don't have to collect them in your inventory which is definitely a convenient thing to have and probably is worth getting to use for a slayer. Uh, it's also sand crabs which are rock crabs on uh, on Zaya where you can't cannon basically. So I guess this would be good for a certain training. Another thing I'm actually really happy about, it's a little thing, but the destination of the Ape of Necromancy Teleports moved to the cave on the south of the island rather than under the temple in Merim, uh, which is, means that it's the closest teleport to the two tick teak spot, and it's good for banking teaks also for Iron Men, but yeah, that's quite convenient for whenever I do woodcutting. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that as well. You can also have Gilded Armor and Free-to-Play now, which is interesting. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead in-game and do the mini quest and see uh, how it actually works. So all you need to do the mini quest is just a spade, and you probably want to have stamina potions also because you run around a little bit. Um, if you have a keymaster teleport, those are useful to get to the guy there because it is part of the mini quest. And uh, I use the quest cape to get to the uh, library quickly. Basically, what you do to start off is you search through the library. I I don't know if there's any uh, like way to find a hint or anything to find this book, but I didn't figure it out, so I just was searching through the entire library. You need to find a book called Soul Journey. Um, and it took me probably like 25 or 30 minutes of searching the library before I found it. I, I think I searched more than half, but I didn't search all of it. Um, but yeah, you just need to search through the library in Archaeos and you'll find the Soul Journey book eventually. Kind of annoying, but that's most of the time spent on the mini quest. Uh, it's just searching the library, so yeah, that's mostly it. Basically, once you find the book, you do have to read it. Make sure you read it, because if you don't, then it, I don't think the mini quest will continue. So you have to read the Soul Journey book and then you go to the soul altar, talk to the NPC there named Aretha, and go through some, go through some dialogue with her, and then you go to the uh, the altar area, like the monastery type place in Archaeus, and you go into the uh, downstairs area. You have to enter through the up, you have to go through the door up the stairs, and then walk across and go down the stairs, and then you get into like a open area with some blood on the floor and stuff. You dig there and you find a damaged uh, soul bear, and uh, then you just take that to the keymaster near Cerberus, which you can get to either by going to Taverly, running down, going through the dungeon, everything to the Cerberus area, or just using a keymaster teleport if you have one from Cerberus. And you talk to him. He uh, makes it into a charged soul bear, and then the mini quest is complete. And in order to charge the soul bearer, you just have to use blood and soul runes on it. it. Uses one blood and one soul rune for every single soul that you, or every single head that you send back to your bank. And you can store up to a thousand charges in it at a time. All right, so I did just obtain the soul bearer, and I'm going to do my fire giants task right now since that's the task that I have, and I should get a few heads on that so we can see if it uh, works as expected, which I'm sure it does. But I just want to try it out, get some actual. Uh, footage of it, but yeah, look at all the shit that I have in my inventory now for Slay. Like, there's so many passive effect items, Bone Crusher, Soul Bear, Holy Wrench, and you have Herb Sack and Gem Bag, and I bring Max Caper Teleports, Slayer Ring for Teleports, Desert Limit to Recharge, it's like, Jesus Christ, so many passive items slowly building up over time. Some of the things happened in the RS3 days, like, started with the Bone Crusher, and then you got, like, the Charming Imp and all sorts of other shit, but... It is a convenient thing definitely to have for Slayer, um, and it didn't take a terribly long time to get, so I'd say it's probably worth it for the extra money that you get. Okay, so I just got an installed giant head. I thought it was going to teleport it direct to the bank from the drop. Do I use it on it? Alright, you have to use the heads on the thing to get it to work, so that's good to know. I thought it was like Bone Crusher or just did it automatically, but it doesn't really matter that much you can do it without wasting any time. So that's how the... Soul Bearer works, it's kind of cool. Just getting Soul Head drops, you still have to pick them up and then it will send them directly to the bank when you use it on them. Alright, I finished that task up, I got eight uh, Soul Giant Heads and all of them were sent to the bank with my lovely new Soul Bearer. I guess I'll see what my next assignment is from Steve. Yeah, fuck that. And as far as block list, I need to move it around a bit. I need to add uh, Gargo is back on the block list now that the new melee HP rates are a lot higher. Those are no longer efficient. They were efficient if melee HP was 120k, but they're not anymore. So Gargo is go back on the block list, and then the other one would be Krakens. Though I might leave those unblocked because I might still aim for the pet at some point. But yeah, I'm going to block Gargoyles next time I get them at least. And Sukras, I will never block, so they're amazing. 
Oh, yeah, and one more little thing I've been meaning to take off my completion list for a while that I figured I would do uh, while I was at this is unlocking the blood rift, which is a pain in the ass because I had to go craft blood runes first, which I didn't realize, so I had to like make multiple trips because I kept fucking things up. But I did activate the blood rift now, which is a little completionist thing to unlock the blood and soul rifts. I already have the soul one done because I did a little bit of those on release, so uh, that's one thing that can be unlocked and never uh, not unlocked once you do it. So technically completionist and knock that off and. I still have some motives to work towards completionist stuff. There's some things that I will be doing after I finish doing real mining uh, towards the completionist, but I won't be doing a lot of pet hunting. I probably will pet hunt a little bit while I'm finishing 20 mil Slayer, but that's not going to uh, be surprised if you've got one pet during that. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, definitely go ahead and get an unsold head bear thingy. Uh, definitely helps out with Slayer and will get you a little bit of extra money on your tasks. Uh, so, And as, especially for Ironmen too, it's really useful, I'm sure, because Ironmen use those to get prayer XP. But... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like if you did, and I will see you guys soon with more content. Thanks for watching, guys.